I'd like to share a little secret with all of you. Um, if you come a little closer. Hello everyone, welcome back to Northern Thrifters. I thought for today's video we would do a little recap of a Funko Pop hunt that I went on the other day in my local town. Um, first, why don't we cut to a little montage of the stores that I visited. We'll cut to that right now. And we're back. So before I begin, I'd like to share a little secret with all of you. Um, if you come a little closer. Basically, I am a little bit chicken when it comes to filming inside stores. So hopefully that explains why my hunt montage is just the outside of stores. So hopefully within the next little while I'll get more comfortable, I'm going to start practicing filming out in public and try not to care about what people are thinking about me or if they're giving me funny looks. So if you have any tips in that regard, be great comment down below, share them with me just so uh, maybe I don't feel so chicken when I'm out in public and feel like everybody is staring at me. So now that that's out of the way, you know a little something about myself, um, let's get back to the hunt and haul. So as you can see from that very brief montage, I visited several stores. Uh, I went to Michael's, Mastermind Toys, EB Games, Walmart, and Best Buy. And at Mastermind Toys, I wasn't able to find any Funko Pop. I'm not even sure if they carry them, but I couldn't find them. At Michael's, I was very shocked as to the price that they were charging for the Funko Pops. They were $17 each. I'm thinking it's because they often um, offer a 40% off coupon. So if you use that, it'd be under $12. So it'd be pretty comparable to other stores. At Best Buy, they had a single, solitary, and very sad looking Funko Pop. It was a Star Wars character, I can't even remember what it was. It was on for $4.97 all by itself and the box was damaged. So I left it there for someone else to adopt one day. Um, Walmart was very successful. They had a huge selection of Funko Pops and I was able to get five from that location. And the other store that I was successful at was EB Games. They again had a, quite a large selection and decent prices and I ended up picking up two that were on sale. So the most Funko Pops that I picked up were at Walmart and they were actually all from one single franchise. They had one of each of these. I couldn't find multiples of them so I think I kind of lucked out a little bit. I, I'll show you the first one. So I got Mira from Aquaman. That's one of the ones that they had there. Another one that they had, and you'll see a theme, is Arthur Curry from Aquaman. That one I really like. He's got his little trident. Another one is Aquaman from Aquaman. I like that one too. I like them all. I wouldn't buy them if I didn't like them. And that's another thing. On this channel, you'll see I buy regular Funko Pops. I'm not after the Chase versions. I mean, if I can find one, great, because it'll be worth more down the road. But I basically pick out Funko Pops if I like the franchise, the series, if it reminds me of my childhood, something like that, then I'll want to pick it up. But otherwise, uh, I don't really care if it's worth a ton of money or if it's worth $6. So this is another one from Aquaman Orm. Oops, I just hit the camera, sorry. And then finally from Aquaman, Black Manta. And this one looks really cool. He is very detailed on his suit. It's amazing on the plastic how detailed they can get on the weapons and the suit. So that was fairly successful at Walmart. And like I had said previously, the other uh, location that was successful was EB Games. And they had a ton there that I probably could have bought. But I didn't feel like spending a ton of money because I had spent quite a bit already at Walmart. So there I focused on the ones that were on sale. So they actually had quite a few that were on sale. So the first one that I picked up is from Fraggle Rock. It's Moki and Doozer. Now this show... I watched it religiously when I was a kid. 
Um, that probably ages me a little bit, but I just, I absolutely love this show. Like one of my favorite characters was that trash heap that they'd go and visit. Not, it wasn't very often that they visited her and I don't even remember her name. If you remember her name, comment down below or maybe I'll look it up after this video. Um, and she had like two little critters beside her that would joke and they were, they were the same creature. They were like rats or something that were beside her. Rats, but not rats. I don't know what they were. I can't even remember their names, but they would sit beside her and then she would sing a song. It was kind of funny. So found my very first Fraggle Rock Funko Pop. Very excited. And another show that I watched every Saturday morning when I was a little tiker was the Smurfs. And one of my favorite Smurfs was Brainy Smurf. And I found this one there and I think it was $6. I'm pretty sure. I think both of these maybe were $6 or $7. They were all both under $7 anyway. So this one I'm very happy with. I'm going to try to get all of them. They also had Papa Smurf, but it was pretty expensive. I think it was like for me, $12.99. I don't want to spend $12.99. I'll wait till I can find it a little bit cheaper. So that is my Funko Pop haul for my little hunt that I did the other day. I hope you enjoyed. Please comment with which ones you were your favorites or what you look for when you're out on a Funko Pop hunt. Are you like me where you don't uh, really care if they're expensive ones or ones that'll be worth more? Do you really just look for uh, Funkos from series that you like to watch? So personally for me, that's Stranger Things, Walking Dead, cartoons from when I was a kid, uh, movies when, from when I was younger like Die Hard or things like that. So let me know down below what you like to look for. And also while you're here, if you could like this video, if you enjoyed your time with me, subscribe to this channel and um, share with people that you know. Thanks a lot. See you next time. Bye.